This is our final project for EGR 434, Green Robotics Automation and Machine Intelligence. For this project, we have conceptually designed a smart, sustainable fast food restaurant. This project has been brought to you by Park Martin, Adam Snyder, and Ryan Shirk. Our initial motives for this project were to introduce sustainability and machine intelligence to the fast food industry, increase awareness for the need for these sustainable changes, demonstrate the capabilities of autonomy within a business, streamline the fast food process, and apply machine intelligence knowledge to the real world situation. There were two main design concepts we want to incorporate with this project. The first was to apply machine intelligence to the way fast food is ordered, produced, and served. And the second was to incorporate sustainability into the architecture of the building. The first aspect we looked at was food service. We have a pew table in the center where we looked at different ways to incorporate mach machine intelligence into this food service. You can see our PDS criteria that we lined up with. After analyzing our table, we decided to go with the touch screen and later we narrowed that down to using iPads. So the customer will be able to walk through the front door, pick up an iPad at the front desk and return and seat themselves and use them to order and this will also be a way to, for payment as well and the iPads will also be able to um, alert the customer when their food is ready at the pickup window. The second aspect we looked at was the robotic arms that would prepare our food. To do this we did a case study on four different robotic arm systems uh, the one we ended up with was the AB Rib 140. This robotic arm has six degrees of freedom, which is desirable for our project as it is a much cheaper option compared to a seven degrees of freedom robotic arm. For our system as a whole, it will include two robotic arms to manufacture our food. And these are on parallel tracks that run alongside our conveyor belt. The end manipulator for our AB140 is desirable for the application we're using it for. It is currently in use for mass production of cake products and baked goods in a real world restaurant. The third aspect we looked at in incorporating machine intelligence was the delivery of the food to the customer. So we again have another pew table that we use to help um, design this uh, portion of the project. Uh, we were lining this up against the human delivery system so we had a conveyor belts, robot, and drones and the main, the main uh, aspect of this was the cost so the drones and the robot really drove it up so we decided to use a much simpler system which was conveyor belts so once the robot is done producing the food it can spin around and place the order on the conveyor belt which takes it out to the pickup window which will allow alert the iPad to tell the customer your food's ready and they can get up and come over to the pickup window, look, get, grab their food and have a seat and enjoy their meal. Another area that we wanted to add machine intelligence into is a smart intelligent inventory system. This system includes a supply chain that will restock itself with the help of barcode technology and a centralized computer. The, our restaurant will be able to monitor what comes in and leaves and will give real-time inventory st statistics. And once our restaurant is running low on certain food items, it will be able to contact local suppliers to help resupply our inventory with locally grown products. For this project, we also wanted to include sustainability, as Ryan said, and one of the most evergreen solutions we found was to incorporate an eco-roof. Eco-roofs can reduce energy costs by 10% and roof temperatures by 70 degrees Fahrenheit in summer months. It can also greatly manage storm runoff water. Uh, we also optimize our footprint of our fast food restaurant. It is the same footprint as the McDonald's in the Elizabethtown area and there's even more seating capacity because there are not waiting lines inside. So we have a very small footprint uh, that could be 
uh, this restaurant could be replicated not only in Elizabethtown. We also included roof overhangs to have a passive solar feature to the restaurant where it will shade the building uh, in the front windows during the summer months. There are also deciduous trees placed over the porch and uh, front windows that will do the same. Here you can see a floor plan of our restaurant. To the right is the dining area where everyone will sit and order their food, as well as an outside deck where in the summer months, you know, warm weather, people could go outside and take their food out there as well. To the left is the kitchen area where in the center there is the conveyor belt and robotic tracks where the robots would pre prepare the food. And next to that, uh, on either side, there is storage and a control room. This video will take you through the dining area of our restaurant. So these are the front doors. And you would enter and the receptionist would be on the right. You'd pick up an iPad and start ordering at whatever seat you choose. And you could also go outside here where we'll take a view of the deck. This video will take us through the kitchen of our restaurant. In the center runs a conveyor belt as well as two tracks for the both robotic arms. On either side the robots can pick from the ingredients as well as cook various parts of the order and there are two prep tables for them to prepare the food and it exits out there to the front window where the people can pick up their order now we will go into the control room that is on our right side which will control all of the control system mechanisms as well as a desk for the manager We thank you for viewing our presentation of this project. For more details, please look at our final design paper.